So, Auburn, tell me about the street that you grew up on. Where was it exactly? What was the name of it? Okay, I grew up on a street called Temple Road in a neighborhood um, called College Park. And so we had like a little like cohort of like all the kids in the neighborhood that I grew up with and hung out with. And that was like my crew. And to this day, a lot of them like we still keep in touch and we're still friends and everybody's doing so many like amazing things. Um, but that was like the foundation of like my childhood. There were so many families that like I was a part of outside of my home. Like there was a house two streets down and we called it the Kirby's house because it was like a house full of Kirby. It was like six or seven of them. And you know, it was a house where we could always go and like they were always cooking and you know, you could just kind of get in where you fit in because there were so many kids. And on the other end of the street, I used to hang out um, with my friend and her brother and her family all the time. And my grandma would know like, she's safe. She's with these people on the street. I know she's getting fed lunch. <laughs> she might even get fed dinner. <laughs> but I know like, you know, there was always families and like all of my close friends, like it was very safe to like hang out in people's houses and everybody's parents took care of each other. And it was like, oh, you're going to be at the house today? Ask your parents if you can go with us to the, you know, we might go to the aquarium or just get in the car while we go to Walmart. Like it was very safe and like all the families really like looked out for all the kids and the kids were very integrated to other families. Do you feel like that kind of communal open door policy, like embrace of young people, do you feel like all of that prepared you for your work with Southerners on the on new ground? Definitely, um, especially because at the core of the organization, like we talk so much about building beloved community. Yes, and, like, I love what that it phrase. Means. It's such a core, important <laughs> phrase to the to activism and community building. And that's so much like the core of the work that we do. That that is the foundation of my life. And like having that beloved community in my family, in my street, in our neighborhood. Um, and then being able to come into a space where like that is the foundation of the work that we're trying to do. Like we know that no progress that we come into or get to is even going to be sustainable without community and community love and community care and like really getting down into like what that means and like how sticky it can be sometimes to build community and like what it really means to be a community and so my like life and the family that I had and our foundation very much fuels the work I have and like I want people to grow up and feel the safe and like supportedness and community and care that I felt in my family so that's how I approach my work with Spong. Do you feel like you've been able to see the work unfold, like you've seen progress in that work when you look at what you've accomplished with your team? We can't sit on the bench in this time and be apolitical. Mm. Like we have to be political. And so I see where we're trying to like bring our advocacy arm of like mutual aid and building beloved community to this idea of electoral of organizing and things are not being transactional, but transformational. Mm. We're not coming into your communities and just asking you for your vote or, you know, we want electoral voting and like electoral organizing to be a vehicle or a tool towards liberation in our lifetime. And so when we canvass, we're not canvassing for votes. We canvass in communities and we ask people like, what do you want? What do you see? What do you need to survive? And those those are the things that like we are moving on. So our, even the way we approach these very traditional ways of like electoral organizing are way different. Um, And I see that as like how we're going to be moving our progress forward.